This is a story about a guitar. My very first guitar that I got when I was 14. See, I grew up in San Saba, Texas, which is a population 3,000 something. And it's me and my mom drove to Clean, which was about an hour away, to go to Hosey Music Company to look at guitars. I told my mom I really wanted a guitar for Christmas. So we drove to Colleen, to Hosey Music Company, which, funny story, in 2003, I got a job at the city of Waco, and the director of the department where I work, at, where I work then and still work now is Larry Hosey, and he's the guy who owned Hosey Music Company back then. So, a little side note there. So we went to the music store, looked at all the guitars, saw the one I wanted, said, that's the guitar I want. This was in the 80s, so it was very heavy metal looking and that's what I wanted. What's funny is probably a week or so before Christmas I told my mom I said well I don't really know how to play guitar so don't worry about getting me a guitar. Well come to find out she had already bought the guitar actually found it underneath my mom's bed. Uh, I think my brother or somebody was, was snooping around and uh, they called me in there and I opened it up and there was this guitar. I was like oh my god there's the guitar. Got the guitar when I was 14. Had a band in high school. We were called TMJ for Troy, Macario, and Jesse. We were a three-piece. Had no idea that TMJ was like this jaw disease. Found that out years later. So we had a cool name and didn't even know it. Graduated high school, moved to Waco, joined a band down here, still had that guitar, quit the band, started a band back in San Saba. I'd go home every other weekend and we would play and practice and stuff. That was the guitar I used until, I guess, 95 when I bought this guitar, this Gibson SG. Bought it from a guy, from, from a friend of mine for a hundred bucks. It's been my guitar that I've played ever since 95. So the guitar I got for Christmas when I was 14 was sort of like left to the wayside. Didn't think about it anymore, didn't play it anymore, didn't look cool anymore. You know, grunge was out, that was the sort of music. So that, that guitar was out of style. Late 90s, I was still in Waco, we were playing. Bob, my bass player, whose house we always practiced at and played, uh, he moved to Land Passes, band broke up, late 90s, started another band, was always using this guitar, and I really didn't think about the guitar I got when I was a kid until probably 13, 14 years ago, and I wondered, whatever happened to that guitar? Because Bob had moved away from the house where we practiced, uh, I thought it was in storage, I looked at a uh, storage shed that my mom had, it wasn't there. I uh, actually found a picture of the guitar, of that, of that model guitar on the internet. I put, it, I put it on Facebook. I said, if anybody's ever seen this guitar, I'm looking for it. It's my original guitar. Nobody ever responded to it. Kind of forgot about it again. Until a few years later, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can find that guitar or one like it. So I went on eBay, found one just like it, and I thought, well, I'm gonna buy this guitar just for sentimental value. So I started bidding on it. The problem was, the bidding was going to end the same time I was shooting a wedding in Austin. So I was actually on the phone with my wife. She was bidding, the wedding was about to start. I'm on the phone with her. The bidding gets higher and higher and higher. It actually was way more than I ever wanted to pay for it. But I said, just buy it, just get it, just get it. And we bought it. We paid more for the guitar than what it was worth when it was brand new. Got the guitar, and this is that guitar. This is what it is, it's a Takamini GX100. Years went by, uh, was happy with the guitar I got off eBay, never really played it. Uh, it's kind of the the, the, uh, the, 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 the the switch on it just kind of halfway works, so. But I got it for sentimental value. Didn't think about the guitar anymore. Then, my birthday, February 23rd, this year, 2019, we went to go see Clutch in Austin. Met a friend of mine, Dave Storm, whose dad's restaurant we used to work at in San Saba. Me, my brother Trey, who was a drummer, uh, and Bob, who was a bass player, whose house we used to play at. We all worked at the same restaurant. Dave Storm also worked there. His dad owned the restaurant and hadn't really kept up with him over the years. So Dave shows up at the concert and he says, hey, I have a surprise for you in my car. I'm like, okay. and I. I couldn't even guess to what it would have, what it would be. So, this is what happened that night. Oh my God! 
<laughs> is that mine? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've been looking for this fucking guitar for what is it? 25 what is years, man. What? Yeah. Holy sh! Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Ah. Is, is, is this it? Is this mine? Yeah. This is my guitar. Yeah. Oh my Did god. You tell? I know how to tell because it had a big, big. Uh, oh my god, man. Holy. Uh, sh this is my guitar. I haven't had this guitar in like. This yeah. is my guitar. Did you yeah. get it from Bob's house? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I've had it like it, it got kind of lost in storage. But yeah, you know. This it. It's my guitar. Oh my god, man. Oh my god, I want to cry. <laughs> I've been looking for this yeah. sucker. You're awesome, Dave. Oh my god. Yeah. Dude. This is. I can't <laughs> believe that shit, man. I've been looking for this thing. Wow. That's See, crazy. I knew you would love this, man. I've been waiting to give it to you ass. I'm like, I gotta see his ass to give it to you. So, you know. It's in tune! <laughs> been looking for it for what? 20 years? A long time. See, I just, I, I didn't know where, what happened to it. I had no idea what happened to it. I figured I left it at Bob's house and then he moved. Yeah. And then, I don't know. Dave, I, I think you just made his f***ing day. <laughs> and I waited until his birthday, too. You know, that I know, I know. <laughs> So I haven't even played this guitar since I got it a couple of months ago. Uh, it's just been sitting in the case. So tonight I'm going to plug it up and uh, see if it still works. Okay, so here we go. So I realized that when you switch it down in the down position, it does not work, which was always my favorite sound. But in the up position, it does work. This knob is gone, but who cares? These strings, you can tell these strings are really old. They don't slide. This, this, my fingers don't slide very, very good. pretty good I can't wait to put some new strings on this and uh, get it going and uh, clean it up and play it for real because it still feels pretty good so I asked Dave I said well where's this guitar been he said well it just got lost in the shuffle and it was in storage for a long time and I guess he finally found it somewhere along the way because when I think when Bob moved out there was all kinds of stuff left at his house and it probably just went here and went this way and that way and uh, he's had it for, I don't even know how long he's had it. And he never had the chance to give it to me. But uh, it's pretty cool that he did and he didn't pawn it.